Mark 8, 27 through 9, 1. The Messiah. Jesus and his disciples headed out for the villages around Caesarea Philippi. As they walked, he asked, Who do the people say I am? Some say, John the Baptizer, they said. Others say, Elijah. Still others say, one of the prophets. He then asked, And you, what are you saying about me? Who am I? Peter gave the answer, You are the Christ, the Messiah. Jesus warned them to keep it quiet, not to breathe a word of it to anyone. He then began explaining things to them. It is necessary that the Son of Man proceed to an ordeal of suffering, be tried and found guilty by the elders, high priests, and religion scholars, be killed, and after three days rise up alive. He said this simply and clearly so they couldn't miss it. But Peter grabbed him in protest. Turning and seeing his disciples wavering, wondering what to believe, Jesus confronted Peter. Peter, get out of my way. Satan, get lost. You have no idea how God works. Calling the crowd to join his disciples, he said, Anyone who intends to come with me has to let me lead. You're not in the driver's seat. I am. Don't run from suffering. Embrace it. Follow me and I'll show you how. Self-help is no help at all. Self-sacrifice is the way, my way, to saving yourself, your true self. What good would it do to get everything you want and lose you, the real you? What could you ever trade your soul for? If any of you are embarrassed over me and the way I'm leading you when you get around your fickle and unfocused friends, know that you'll be an even greater embarrassment to the Son of Man when he arrives in all the splendor of God, his Father with an army of the holy angels. Then he drove it home by saying, This isn't pie in the sky by and by. Some of you who are standing here are going to see it happen. See the kingdom of God arrive in full force.